Well, welcome to Meet the Leaders. Yes, state capital is where we are. I'm David Smith. Nice to have you along with us today. 125th District is where you'll find Representative Tom O'Day. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, you don't look uh, bleary-eyed or anything. Tom, well, I did, I did uh, sleep in my office. Ah, uh, that's comfort. Yes, that's I had luxury. a, a blow-up bed with my son's sheets on it, so I'm well-rested. <laughs> Uh, those Spider-Man sheets really yes. help you with trucks. Well, <laughs> trucks. I'm, I'm on the transportation committee, so of they're course, little trucks. trucks. Well, to that end, now this this budget, uh, controversial as it continues to be, as it gets rolled out, and by the time people are seeing this, they've had some inkling of what it is, at least a little bit. Uh, transportation is being affected in this, apparently. Yes. Going it, forward. The, yes. The, the governor's proposal has been scaled back, but okay. the good, the good. There were some good things that happened this year. Uh, Representative Guerrero and I, he's, he's the chairman of the committee, and we're working on getting municipalities more work, more monies to do the bridge work. So as you probably are aware, and I know most of my constituents are, the transportation system has been wholly un underfunded for a number of years. So what we've done is, with this new transportation bill, is we're allowing towns to get 50% funding automatically for any of their bridge repairs. So in the past, it was somewhere between 15% and 50%, and you didn't know. So it was hard for towns to budget repair work sure. on bridges. Now they know they get a flat 50%, which is going to help the municipalities and, and make our roads more safe because the bridges will be fixed. But that still leaves the municipalities holding the bag for a lot, doesn't it? It now, does. Can they get some federal aid as well on those things? Yes, they can get some federal okay. aid. Obviously, the state gets does all the work on the state roads, so we're just talking about the town roads Yeah, right. for that. But yes, they can apply for some federal aid, but they are going to be on the hook for 50% if they can't get federal aid. Well, and our infrastructure, as you suggest, is just terrible. It, it, it's been ignored for too many years uh, on both sides of the aisle, so we need to focus on that, and this is one way we can do that. Uh, we're also making public-private partnerships easier in the new transportation bill because we're allowing uh, developers to bid more easily on projects in, in in coordination with the Department of Transportation. So we have done some positive things this so session. So this will be qu hopefully getting some quicker action out exactly. of this. Exactly. We've eliminated a state trial referee from looking at it uh, for approval. They've never uh, rejected approval, but it takes an extra 60 to 90 days. Yeah. So we've eliminated that step. So we've done some things to streamline some uh, some work for the. Uh, You're also involved with the judiciary, uh, among many other things. But the judiciary has been has been hit pretty hard along the way already, and, and going forward probably a lot more. I, I just actually read that the, the the judiciary is saying it's catastrophic the cuts that they're they're looking at. So, look, the budget hasn't even come out yet. Uh, at least the, the final version of what we're going to be looking yeah. at. So I know finance, as we're talking right now, finance is, is examining the budget. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen to the judiciary, but as a practicing attorney, uh, I do, uh, I am aware of the, the fact that we need to make sure we have funding there because the people that need the services most are appearing before our court system, family courts. So we've got to make sure that we don't hurt them. Well, that's, that's the reality of this whole thing because the people who really need all these services are the ones who are getting hit the hardest. Uh, so many that, that are assisted by not-for-profits, not and they're not going to get a lot of money for various enterprises, and it just goes on. I mean, it's a, it's a, a, a domino game, everything going down. It is. Look, the overall problem, though, is we need to have more jobs to get more people working in the state so that we have more revenues. By taxing the few, we're driving them out. And, and we're driving away businesses. So we got to make sure that we put our fiscal house in order so that we grow our job base. Um, so, uh, you know, yes, we have to help, help the most meet, needy, but we can't put all the costs and expenses on, on, on uh, the back of the businesses and our, our, our wealthiest. But where, where is that safety net then? What, what happens for these people who are really in, in need and where do they go now? Well, we got to make sure that safety net is still there. Um, so we've got we've got to reduce our spending in other areas. Um, you know, having the hundred uh, billion dollar transportation plan over thirty years may not be practical right now. So we've got to refocus, try and grow our income base so that our revenues will increase. The North Carolina model worked. They, they reduced their business taxes to the lowest of surrounding states. They reduced their income tax to the lowest of surrounding states, and they reduced their benefits to just below minimum wage so that it encouraged people to work, it encouraged businesses to come to the state, and it encouraged the wealthy to stay there. That's what we need to do. Is that something that uh, you see as being 
tolerated by the rest of the uh, legislature? Well, I, I do know the governor spoke positively about the Republican budget. Uh, and so I don't know, I haven't seen what the latest budget looks like. Right. I know they're talking about it now, but I'm hopeful that we're going to make the state more business friendly. Well, it's, uh, there's a lot of work still to be done, there's no question about it. And of course the ramifications are going to be felt uh, shortly after this, uh, this whole thing gets approved. We're so. not getting out of this ditch in two to four years. It's going to be a 10 to 15 year problem. Okay. Uh, Got to do that first shovelful, though, I guess, to get out. Yeah, or something yes, like we do. That. yes, Thanks we do. Thanks so much for being with us, Tom. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Representative Tom O'Day, our guest on this edition here. And so you see, there are all kinds of conflicts going on and uh, ramifications that will be seen after the fact for this budget. There's no question about it. I'm David Smith from Meet the Leaders.